there's not many secrets to getting a whole lot of mileage out of a vehicle. Make sure the air going in is clean. Make sure the oil that's in there is clean. Change frequently. Change all your fluids. Open that uh, owner's manual up and look in there and see what kind of fluids are supposed to go in some of these things. I'm a recent uh, Ford owner. Never had one before. So I was going through the manuals, you know, checking to see what's supposed to go where. And lo and behold, you do not put power steering fluid in the power steering reservoir on a uh, on a Ford. At least this F-150 you don't. So it's the fastest way to ruin a power steering pump. But you do use Mercon automatic transmission fluid. <laughs> so I wrote down, you know, dot three brake fluid, yellow coolant, Mercon on that reservoir. So nobody, including myself, makes the mistake. One of the things that I discovered when I bought this thing, after I bought it, of course, was that this band, which separates the air cleaner housing, wasn't fastened correctly at the bottom. And uh, it, it takes, uh, once the molding on this, once the plastic on this is deformed a little bit from improperly in, uh, installing this, this band on here, it's a bear to properly latch. So I do this myself. I get my oil changed at a quick lube place that I trust, but I do not want anybody but myself to actually open this and check the air filter. So that's why I've got a note on here, do not open. I've got it zip tied closed. So there's no mistakes that I don't want them in there. And I've got the mileage of course, where I changed it. So I know, you know, that I'm gonna probably open that up in about 15,000 miles or so, at least check it use oem original equipment manufacturer filters some of the aftermarket stuff looks the same smells the same it's about the same price but it's not it's inferior just pull this up loosen the band up and, and separate these two halves replace your filter wipe out in here clean it out in here and uh and replace a new filter with a motorcraft and that's it I'm going to try to show you the problem with this air filter canister design. Maybe okay when it's new, but once it's messed up, it uh, it can become very difficult. If you just mash these together and try to get the clamp on, you're probably in for a long day. It may take you a while, and here's why. Got a sound of freedom over my head here, so you have to excuse that. On the bottom of the engine side, of this half of uh, the air cleaner you've got these plastic prongs and uh, they actually go into the clamp like so and they just as easily will fall out of that clamp so what I've done up here on the top is before everything's taken loose i made a mark on the plastic canister and a mark on the clamp that i know where to index that that clamp on the canister now what you've got to do is open this up hold the clamp to the plastic put the second half of the canister inside that lip and then close it there's an index pin on the second half of the uh canister too it the this part clocks at 12 o'clock right into that slot right there got it correct when it just kind of falls together if you're fighting it and you have to use force on this arm to close it you've probably got something wrong use a mirror and a flashlight and go around the bottom and make sure everything's closed up tight and looks right uh, it's the best advice I can give you. It just, I mean, when you got it right, it just closes right down. But everything has to be lined up correctly for that to happen. Once you've got it down, I highly recommend you zip tie this closed. All right, and then change your mileage.